Hello students, welcome to my online biology classes that is biology with Sanjay R.J. Today we will be starting a new chapter from PUC first year that is chapter number 10 cell cycle and cell division and the topic name is introduction to cell cycle and cell division. So let's get started. The first thing is what is a cell? In Latin cella means small room. The cell is the basic structural, functional and biological unit of all the known organisms. A cell is the smallest unit of life. Cells are often called the building blocks of life. Life organisms are divided into three categories. One as animal life, two as plant life and three as microbial life. All these categories are made up of cell or groups of cells only. Since the prokaryotic cell is made up of only one cell, this single cell itself is the major site for all the metabolic activities such as replication, transcription, translation, etc. The same process happens even in eukaryotes also, but these are made up of groups of cells such as tissues, group of tissues such as organs and group of organs such as organ systems. There are different types of cells present in our body with different lifespans. As proceeded with different physiological functions, metabolic activities, environmental stress and damages result in the aging of cells which leads to the less functioning of a cell and becoming inactive after a period of time. So these aged cells should be replaced by the new cells which in turn means that the body should start producing new and fresh cells. It is a continuous process and happens in all forms of life. The growth and reproduction of all the organisms depend on the division and enlargement of cells. I repeat, the enlargement of cells and division of cells are completely dependent on growth and reproduction of all the organisms. The mechanisms of division and multiplication of cells together constitute the cell reproduction. Now here comes the definition of cell cycle. The cell cycle or cell division cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell leading to duplication of its DNA and division of cytoplasm and organelles to produce two daughter cells. Cell growth which in some cases also called a cytoplasmic increase is a continuous process but DNA synthesis occurs only at a specific stage. Duration of cell cycle varies from organism to organism and from cell type to cell type. Duration of a typical eukaryotic cell cycle such as for an example human cell is about 24 hours. In yeasts it is only about 90 minutes. Well, the cell cycle includes two basic phases. One as interphase and another one as M phase also called as mitotic or mitosis phase. First one interphase. This phase is also called as resting phase. We will understand the meaning of resting phase in a few minutes. Interphase refers to all the stages of cell cycle other than mitosis. The purpose of interphase is to promote cellular growth and preparation for the division. Interphase is the daily living or metabolic phase of the cell in which the cell obtains nutrients and metabolites then grows, reads its DNA and conducts other normal cell functions. This phase was formally called the resting phase because of this reason. During interphase cellular organelles double in number, the DNA replicates and the protein synthesis occurs. The chromosomes are not visible 
and the DNA appears as uncoiled chromatin fiber. In eukaryotes, there are two distinct types of cell division. One, a vegetative division or an equational division whereby each daughter cell is genetically identical to the parental cell. And this process is also called as mitosis. And a reproductive cell division or reductional cell division whereby the number of chromosomes in the daughter cells is reduced by half to produce haploid gametes it is also called as meiosis it is the phase between two successive em phases in this phase cell growth and dna synthesis occur it lasts more than 95% of the duration of the cell cycle it contains three phases first one g1 phase it is also called as the growth phase or first growth phase it is the interval or duration between mitosis and dna replication let us understand some main events of g1 phase here continuous growth of a cell takes place the cell becomes metabolically active here preparation of machinery such as enzymes and nutrients for the dna replication takes place here synthesizing of rna and proteins takes place the second one s yes phase or synthetic phase it is the longest phase here the dna replication takes place here the amount of dna per cell doubles however there is no increase in the chromosome number in animal cells replication begins in the nucleus and the centriole duplicates in the cytoplasm g2 phase or gap 2 phase it is also called as the second growth phase here the growth of a cell continues synthesis of rna and proteins also continues and the cell is prepared for mitosis in this particular phase called as g2 phase the next section or the next division or the next phase is called as m phase it is also called as mitosis phase it represents the actual cell division in human cell cycle it lasts for only about an hour m phase includes karyokinesis which is also called as nuclear division and cytokinesis which is also called as the division of cytoplasm some interesting facts some cells do not show divisions such as heart cells many other cells divide only occasionally to replace damaged or dead cells the cells that do not divide further they leave the g1 phase and enter an stage which is inactive in nature called as quiescent stage or g0 stage such cells remain metabolically active but do not proliferate so dear students these are some of the points or the introduction to cell cycle and cell division this topic includes only the basic information about the phases of cell cycle and a little amount of introduction in our future classes we will be studying about the most important sections of this chapter and our life also called as mitosis and meiosis so students i hope you understood this basic animated video tutoring of mine i'll be bringing another video in a very short time that is a promise until that time please do like my videos share my videos subscribe to my channel until that time god bless you take care thank you